Hey yo, good morning guys. It is currently 10.30 in the morning. Currently right now, I am in class. And obviously for the, you know, respecting my teacher and my students, I have decided to turn over the iPad so that, you know, the screen won't show or the names or anything like that. But yeah, I'm right here. I have my uh, headphones plugged in. I'm listening to my teacher right now speaking and the other students. I usually sometimes speak, sometimes I don't, depending on what class I'm in. I'm usually just stay muted. Um, right now we're eating some galletas. I love um, galletas marias. And I love the little message they say right there. It says, it has it in Spanish and English. It says, authentic is mom's love. And uh, right now we're just vibing, chilling. We're in our school, having our coffee. Hi, babe. Hi. And it is, as you guys can see, in the morning. And you guys could see the sun. Yeah, guys, but, uh, yeah, that's just gonna be the opening clip to today's vlog, and I shall see you guys in the next clip. Deuces! Hey yo, what's up, guys? I'm back, finally, with another video, and in today's video, like always, I'm just gonna be me talking, and hopefully I'll have a little demonstration in this video. It's gonna be a short demonstration, but in today's video, what the topic of today's video is going to be is, what is my physical condition? Why am I in a wheelchair? Um, and what is my physical condition called? And maybe some pros and cons of it, probably, I might include in this video. So let's get right into it. So um, the physical condition that I have, or physical disability that I have, it's called spina bifida. And basically, um, the easiest way that I could explain it is basically when you're, when, you know, how to explain it? When not when, you know, but like when you're born, but your spine isn't um how to explain it? isn't formed correctly. Um, it's basically a crooked, crooked, crooked. I don't know how how that word is, but but you get what I'm trying to say. Like you know, your spine isn't straight. It's like crooked. I I don't know how to explain how to say that word, but you you guys understand what I mean, right? So, um, that's what my physical condition basically is. And if you guys don't, um, know, um, basically how important your spine is, it, um, controls a lot of your nerves. So, um, you know, if your, um, spine isn't, um, developing correctly, and, you know, that's gonna affect a lot of your nerves in your body, and most of the people that I know that have this condition, this condition is actually um, pretty rare in people. There is fewer than 200,000 cases, or there's at least 200,000 cases, um, I think, worldwide. So it's kind of rare to have. So um, the people that I know that have it, um, my best friends, I'm pretty sure have the same condition. I'm pretty sure they have the same condition. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they have spina bifida, and both of them, uh, hopefully they don't mind that I'm talking about this in this video, because this is going to be like an educational video. Um, basically, um, they are paralyzed from the waist down, but I'm not paralyzed from the waist down, which is good, kind of, I guess. I don't really know if it's like good or bad. I would say it's good. I don't know. But, like, um, yeah, they're paralyzed from the waist down. Um, they cannot feel from their waist down. If you guys don't understand what paralyzed is or what it means, it's basically they can't feel from their waist down. And uh, they cannot move um, their legs or, you know, their legs or feel anything f below the waist. Um, but luckily, I am not paralyzed from the waist down, not throwing shade at them or anything whatsoever. Um, everyone is born different, or everyone has different symptoms, um, when it comes to having this physical disability. And, um, a lot of questions that I always get, um, constantly is, how do you do, like, basic day-to-day -day things? Like, how do you take a shower? How do you get, um, from your chair, ah, from your chair, from your chair to your bed? You know, stuff like that. Do you need help with yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I tell them, well, no, I'm actually pretty independent. Um, thank God that 
I have some pretty strong upper body strength because basically all I've been doing my whole life is um, either like crawling when I was younger or um, basically uh, just rolling myself everywhere I go basically. And I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I'm a pretty big guy. I'm pretty fat. I'm not going to lie. I'm chubby. And I don't know if you can notice, but like my arms, you can notice that they're pretty big. So, um, a lot of people, when they see me, they're like, whoa, you, you look pretty buff. And I'm like, not really. And they ask me like, how did you get like that? Like, how did you get buff? And I tell them, I'm like, well, that's kind of a dumb question to ask. I mean, you, you see me in a wheelchair and I get that, you know, a lot of people that haven't seen or know anybody with a physical disability, they have a bunch of questions, but I mean, sometimes you low-key got to stop and think like, how did they get that way? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, if you see someone that has um, really strong upper body strength or has like buff arms or stuff like that, like if you see them and they're in a wheelchair, a manual wheelchair, let me just clarify that, manual wheelchair, because there's basically two wheelchairs out there manual wheelchair which is the one that I have and if you guys don't know what manual is it's basically like a hands-on wheelchair you you use it you roll with it with your hands you have um full mobility with your hands and then there are power chairs and power chairs are for people that um that don't have that much um how do I explain it that don't have that much mobility in their arms and there's different types of ways you can use a we a power chair if I'm correct there you can um I've seen people I'm not sure if Stephen Hawking had a chair like this but I know he used the power chair and um you can control your power chair um with your um what's it called with your headrest my wheelchair does not have a headrest because I decided to remove it um but um I believe you can control your power chair um, using like your head only with motions or I don't know how they do it because I've never you know experienced that or used one before um, and there's people that have like a joystick on their power chair and they just you know control it with their hand movement and um, that's two ways I've seen people use a uh, um, power chair and dang fudge I lucky forgot what I was gonna say but um the way that I do um, basically day-to-day things is I just use my arms literally for everything. Everything, basically. So, how do I explain it? So, this has actually happened to me once when I was in high school. And we were alone in the classrooms and a student was like, do you mind me if I ask you something? And I'm like, Sure, go ahead. You know, I've been asked a bunch of questions, and I'm not sh- ashamed of it whatsoever. Um, I don't care what type of weird questions you got that you want to ask, because um, I've been asked some really weird personal questions and stuff like that, and, like, I really don't care talking about it that much, only because I know I'm basically educating people on disabilities, and that's awesome, in my opinion. You know, if you don't understand how someone um, does their day-to-day life, I think you know, depending on the person, I think it's totally okay to, you know, depending on the way that you ask it, if it's not rude, if it's not to kind of humiliate someone, um, I would say go ahead and ask someone with a physical disability if they're okay with sharing, you know, that information with you. I would say, yeah, educate yourselves, people. You know, learn how people with disabilities you know, get around and stuff like that, um, you know, how they do their day-to-day life, because we matter, we have voices, you know, some of us don't have voices, but we matter, we're here, and we're just as, we're just basically trying to live as normal as you are, and I think a thing that sucks, a big con, I think that sucks for people with disabilities, is you basically spend money the way that I see it, you basically have to spend money, thousands of dollars, to try to live your life as normally as you can. Now, let me give you an example. I live with my parents, and I live in a house, and we have stairs to get, you know, to the main door. And um, before, uh, my mom would, like, tilt my chair back and, like, slowly um, start, like, pushing me down the stairs while holding onto the chair. 
and eventually I got heavy and I had to they had to sign up and they had to basically pay a portion for um a wheelchair lift to be set up at the front of my house so that I can you know get to the main door that's one thing that you know we had to buy in order so that I can basically live our normal life and get you know into the house we had to spend thousands of dollars um you know to get an elevator installed um other things for example I'm at a stage where I kind of want to learn to drive but I'm still thinking like how am I going to drive um what am I going to drive stuff like that and basically you're going to have to buy certain um adjustments to have to your vehicle in order to be able to drive because I have really 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 short feet they're basically useless at least I'm going to say they're basically useless because I just use my arms for everything um so a girl had asked me like hey how do you do day to day things or how do you shower stuff like that and I'm like well I use my hands for everything and she was like what do you mean you use your hands for everything and I told her I'm like well I can lift my whole body with just my hands and she's like no you can't she thought I was like um she thought I was capping and I was like if you guys don't know what capping means it basically means like she thought I was lying and I was like yeah I can and she was like no, you can't. And I'm like, I can show you literally right now. So I was like in between two desks and I just lifted my whole body up. And she was, it was funny. She got scared. She's like, don't fall. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to fall. <laughs> like I've been doing this my whole life. And she was so amazed. It was hilarious. Like the expression on her face, it was hilarious. She's like, no freaking way. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I do this on a day to day basis, basically. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. How I get onto my bed, my bed is actually pretty short, which is a plus. Um, and as right now, I'm going to show you guys me um, lifting my whole body on my wheelchair, basically. And we sometimes would call these, um, or you can call these like, um, what's it called? Wheelchair push-ups. There you go. All right. Now, give me a second. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to stop. Um, this clip right now while I adjust the phone and I can, you know, get my whole wheelchair and frame kind of into, you know, the frame. Well, I don't know if I worded that right. I'm pretty sure it's completely wrong, but, but you get what I'm trying to say. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Now I'm just going to roll back and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to, you guys can see the wheelchair and you guys can see my legs, you know, uh, hello, I have super tiny feet. <laughs> Um, so, pretty sure you guys can see the wheelchair, and I actually need a new wheelchair because I'm getting pretty fat, not gonna lie, and I kind of feel somewhat uncomfortable in this chair, and I need a new wheelchair, so you guys are just gonna see me lifting my body, um, how to explain it, I'm gonna do basically like a wheelchair push-up, basically, uh, so what a wheelchair uh, push-up is, you basically grab yourself, um, I grab myself on the tire and the footrest, and I just lift my whole body up. And as you can see, my body is above the seat because I am lifting my body up with my arms. Ta-da, and I do that all the time. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I get onto the bed. Basically the same way. You guys just saw me, you know, just lift my whole body up. Pretty sure you guys can see the wheelchair. This is my bed right here. Now, I just get as close as I can to the bed, so just align my wheelchair, boom, super close, get that out of the way, and same same thing, one hand on the bed, one hand on the wheelchair, boom, I am now on the bed, let me try to move the camera, Oh my god, that guy, that scared me so much. I'm actually going to keep that. It might scare you guys too. Holy cow, that scared me. I am now on the bed. As you guys can see, we got yours right here. Well, now I am on the bed. And the way that I get into the bathtub is basically I kind of like stand on all fours, if that makes sense. Yeah, like I use my feet. I have my feet on the ground. 
for balance. I also have my hands on the ground. And basically, I do look kind of like a... How do I explain? Kind of like a weird cartwheel. But with my hands, I lift like my legs up. Then my legs go over into the bathtub like this. And then like that, my hands, I can just, you know, readjust and I'm in the bathtub. Tada. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys just getting back on. Hopefully it doesn't fall again. Okay, I think we're good. I think, I think it's not going to fall. Alright, now let me just um, get back. Now, you guys can't see this, but I'm holding like the foot rest um, on the wheelchair. And hand, again, it's going on the bed. And with those two, boom, on the wheelchair. Just like that. So, yeah, guys. Um, like that one famous quote goes, never judge a book by its cover, guys. Because trust me, you do not understand. I'm pretty sure the public really underestimates people with disabilities. And I don't think it should be like that. I personally don't think it should be like that and also another topic that I want to make another video on is I'm gonna go kind of like on a rant is basically like um I personally would want to see like a place if that makes any sense like certain a certain area that uh, that is completely like um wheelchair accessible and stuff like that and that um and that, you know, it's fit for everybody, everybody that has a physical or mental disability. So, yeah, guys, I think that's it where I'm going to end this video. Excuse me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Today, it's going to be a somewhat short video. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment. Leave a like. Thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, I shall see you guys on the next video. Like I always say. YOLO, deuces guys.